Hello again everyone. I feel a little nervous about doing this video and it's not to cause any grief or any shame to Filipinos or expats. My intention is to only give sound advice so long lasting relationships can be established without fear and therefore flourish. Please enjoy the video while taking the time to soak up the overall message. Cheers and enjoy. Hi viewers, how are you? Um, thanks for joining me here today. I keep hearing about all of this stuff going on around the world with this tampo. It's a Philippines disease apparently that ladies get. And I think that any man that's in a situation where they're living with someone that won't talk, they're sulking as, an, as a form of control over the man. I'm not sure if I can help you at all with any advice. I'll try, but I'm mainly trying to help out people that haven't started the relationship yet to give them advice of what to look out for and how to jump out of the relationship if it's not going the way that that you should be willing to put up with I think is the, probably the right words um, I know for me it's certainly a deal breaker if I had a partner that didn't want to communicate I think communication is the number one thing in any relationship If an approach to a situation in a partnership is totally the opposite of mine, it won't work. It's not going to work. Now, some ideas about what you can do about these things. Uh, you need to look out for signs right at the start. Now, if you're doing things online, which a lot of men do, you have a really serious problem and I can really think that perhaps you should consider, well, possibly not even doing it that way. I think it's a risk, a huge risk, right? The reason being, you can mask everything in a relationship online, even if you're talking to them. What you need to do well, first of all, for people that don't understand what this tampo is, it's where a female wants to show that she's at peace, that she is in harmony with what's going on within the relationship, where inside she's just churning with anger, jealousy, and several other emotions that could be going on. And how she does this is when she feels threatened in the relationship, meaning she could be jealous, she's worried about someone taking you away from her. Anyone, doesn't matter, even if it's a male friend, expats, someone that's going to threaten how she sees the relationship. You're hers. No one else is really allowed in there that can threaten that relationship. It could be characterised as giving you the cold shoulder, the quiet treatment. In our societies, Western societies, I don't know about you guys, but I would not tolerate it in any form whatsoever. You can't communicate. It can't work. It's as simple as that. Um, I think what you need to do, anyone in a relationship, as it begins, even if it's online, you need to set some sort of things in motion that will test that person, test your partner. You need to do things that will make them react if they're going to react. 
For example, if it was online, which is the hardest way to do things, you need to bring up conversations about, hey, when I was at work and we, I had lunch with blah, 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 and make sure that you're putting females into the, into the context. Um, mention, not things that would make anyone jealous, but things that wouldn't make anyone jealous, but just say, you know, I've got some friends, we're going out to play a sport or whatever, and uh, mention some females' names. See how she reacts. If, she, if you can tell that she is becoming very jealous or stops talking to you or hangs up on you or whatever, however you're communicating, waiting for you to do the crawling back, run. Just, just run. Find your way out of that relationship because what's going to happen, you get into that relationship and it will go downhill. If you've invested a, a lot of financial stuff, let alone your emotional assets that you put into it, if you've invested a lot of financial assets into your relationship and she just clams up on you, and it could go on for a long, long time, there's very, plenty of evidence of that going on right now on YouTube with certain relationships. They change. People change. You don't want to be in that situation. Just take your time. I, as I said before, I suggest you don't do the online thing. I want to make it very clear that not all women in the Philippines are like this. Certainly not. You've got to remember there's around 100,000 expats there. Most of them are with somebody. There's around, around around about 65 million females there. That's not a good ratio if they're looking for a foreigner or someone that's got more wealth than what the average Filipino man would have. And that way their life and possibly their family's life will be improved. And that's, that's great. That that's, I think that's the case everywhere in the world. Nobody wants what we would in Australia call a no hope or someone without anything you, you would like to find someone that can provide for their family or their new family. Now the tampo stuff is very childish, very childlike. It's like pouting. It's just quiet. I've done a lot of research on it. Now this is going to be slightly embarrassing for me because I used to do the same thing when I was younger. Probably wasn't that long ago I stopped. I had a revelation one day that shit, I've been married 30 years and I'm not acting like I should be. So I have worked hard to change it and that's, you know, and I've got help. I've been to see people and uh, that's why I'm trying to pass on a little bit of advice. So at the initial stages of your relationship is what I'm trying to help you with here. Um, and it'll stray into people that are already in a relationship. They need to set boundaries. You need to say to the person, doesn't have to be a woman. You could be saying it to a man. You could be the woman giving advice to the man. Men do the same thing. It's not exclusive. This word, this funny word they thought of, tampo. In Australia, we call it psychological abuse. Now, the wonderful people in the United States have a better word for it, which is what it is. It's emotional abuse. And that's what you're doing. You're trying to control your partner, whether it be male or female, as I said, by your actions. Now, in Western countries, Men and women tend to fight, right? Verbally, even physically, throw things, say things like swearing. It's just terrible. We've all been there. Any Western has been there. That's usually why they leave and go to places like the Philippines to find this subdued person. And when they get there, a lot of them complain about it. They don't want that anymore. And I don't blame them. You need to be able to communicate. You need to be able to have friends without them being jealous. You need to be able to have friends of either sex, if you wish, without them being jealous. Um, that's why you must test the waters at the start. You must put them in situations right now. I, I spoke about the online thing before. Now I want to speak about on the ground with them. 
you need to be able to bring people into your wherever you live, wherever you're renting, owning, whatever you want to do. Um, I suggest you don't own there. I suggest you always rent. That way you have an escape route if something goes wrong. Doesn't change their lifestyle. You can rent an opulent place if you wish to. And you can stay there until the day you die if your relationship is any good. Um, it's a lot easier than trying to get a divorce. It's a lot easier than trying to sell up when you don't own what's the property sitting on. So, uh, people that aren't familiar with the place probably make a lot of mistakes. Now, I am lucky enough or unlucky enough. I don't know which way you want to look at, but I've only been married once. That was nearly thirty years ago. I haven't been divorced, so I, I haven't been in that route. I'm a very careful person. Um, and lucky, I suppose, because as I said before, I've acted like a piece of poo at times. With control, same thing, clamping up, saying naughty things too, but I guess they don't do too much of the saying naughty things, which may be a godsend, but it, none of it's acceptable. We cannot act that way. They can't act that way, and you don't have to put up with it. Now, you need to lay down the, 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 the rules, as I'll uh, put them, you need to communicate like an adult, not a little kid, a little tantrum child that's just going to, you know, face the wall and put the thumb in the mouth. Not acceptable. To solve issues, you have to discuss it. It's as simple as that. You must talk about it. It doesn't matter, so I emphasize again, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, there'll be always a spouse, a partner that will try to manipulate things in many different ways. This is just one of the ways. It's probably the most passive and the most least dangerous, I should say, the most least dangerous. Um, in Australia, our statistics here are pathetic. It's such a small country. It's 26 million people. And at the present moment, there's a bit of an epidemic going on. It breaks uh, open the news nearly every day. Around one lady, is just the statistics I'm using are just females in a relationship with a man, is murdered, is killed violently every five days in this tiny little country. Unacceptable, just trash what's going on um, here. And over there, and you know, and, and over there, you want your life to be obviously different to that, but you want your life to also be um, good for you, good for your brain, good for your mental health. Mental health rules everything. It makes us sick if we're unhealthy in the brain. It makes our lives miserable. And for some, you know, it goes a lot further than that. You have to make the decision, either you take the lead, this is at the beginning, or when you're in the relationship, you must take the lead, you must set down the rules, whatever the outcome is there, you either have two choices, accept that or leave. I, I just shake my head a little bit to that, it's the Filipino culture, unacceptable. No excuse. We could say that about ourselves. It's the Australian culture to murder your spouse every five days. Uh, murder a spouse every five days. What a load of rubbish. Complete garbage. Don't, don't, don't accept that. Try asking a person doing the tampo thing how they feel about the way they're treating you. How does it make them feel? Tell them you love them. Tell them you want them to change or these are the consequences. For the people that have invested everything and you know, have a house sitting on their land, I can't help you with that. I, I can suggest to the people that haven't gotten to that situation yet, don't do it. Rent. Rent, rent, rent you can get out. There's plenty of people that put out the same advice about renting. It's just there's some smart men out there and ladies that 
that mention the rental situation in a, in a country, if you're in the same country and you're both that nationality or you become nationalised to that country and you have the same rights in divorce situations if you break up, half of it's yours, half of it's yours, if there's no kids, blah, 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 if there is, um, no problem. That's easy. When you don't own the house or the land, there's nothing you can do. You, you're over a barrel and um, wow, I feel sorry for you, but try your best to show this person compassion, love, and do not embarrass them and have words with them and just say, look, I, I need you to change or we are over. If they say, I want it over, they may be just reacting again. That could be a part of the disease, this emotional control they have over you or they're trying to have over you. Don't let them have it. Um, you won't be able to put up with it too long. Your mental health will suffer. I'll conclude by saying, um, always be empathetic. To your partner. If this is something she's been doing, or he, in this case we're talking about Filipino, Filipinas, Filipino people, um, be empathetic to her, apologise. Think about her feelings. Think about what it's going to take her to change. Remember that you must do whatever you can to change her behaviour if you want to save this relationship, or it will end. Now, once you work on this relationship, trying to fix up the problems, and if you are just successful, which I hope you will be, at making them change their ways, their awful ways, their controlling ways, you're going to have a great marriage, you're going to have a great partnership, you're going to have a great life. I still suggest you do not build a property that you don't own really. And if you do all that, you will have everything you ever dreamed of. Um, and I hope you end up with this non-controlling, perfect partner that you've always wanted. Like my wife's now got in me, she's got the best guy ever, I'm just joking, dear. Um, I have problems, more problems than I wish to admit, but I don't think the control is one of them anymore, and I'm so, it's, it's freed my life up. Um, there's a man, if anyone wants to see anything about emotional control, it, it's, uh, I really had my eyes open, it was by a man called Austin James. He's a uh, United, States, United States man. Um, he hasn't put out a video for about four years, so I hope he's okay. He's got so much on this problem, this disease, this emotional control um, from a Westerner's point of view. So it won't really fit into a, to a Filipino's world, but it will fit into many others where Filipinos don't talk. Emotional control involves a lot of talking, but it's, um, I mean, it's controlling talk, which is it's not what we want. They're just doing the um, quiet thing is it's, that's their way of controlling you and I think that would be the worst way ever I've never experienced it myself I've handed it out and I know my wife didn't like it too much and all my girlfriends before she came along um, I just want to thank you and I have a little bit of something that's saved on my phone I can't remember what it says I don't sleep the best, so the memory doesn't always work. Oh, here it is. And this is probably something that fits a little bit into this video that you can pass on to whoever your other half is, male, female, old, young, doesn't matter. But you should always speak to people in a way that if they died the next day, you'd be satisfied with the last thing you said to them.
don't let it be silence. I hope to catch up with you again in another video soon. Sorry about the dogs if you're not a dog person, but I need to keep them quiet. There's another one hiding around the corner. I've made sure she's got a nice sunny spot because it's quite cold here in this country. God, I'd love to be in the hot country. People whinge about the heat, but I hate the cold too. Um, yeah, and thank you so much for watching. And I'll get busy soon editing all the mistakes I put into this video. Thanks so much. Catch you again. Bye.